Now let's hop over to Word. Here I have a document that's an FAQ document on Copilot, and it has over 70 questions as you can see here, all detailing out every intricate detail about Copilot and Bing Chat Enterprise. Now let's assume my manager has given me this document and has asked me to create a guide for IT administrators to help them roll out Copilot in their organization. So let me hop over to a new document first, and I'm going to show you how Copilot in Word can do a lot of the heavy lifting. So I'm going to ask a very detailed prompt. Create a 10-step instructional guide for IT administrators helping them adopt and deploy Copilot within their organization based on a document using the one I just showed you, and include one paragraph for each step explaining the importance of each step, and also list five tactical things they should do for each step to get started. All right, let's see what Copilot is made of. Now this is going to take a moment, because Copilot needs to ingest the entire document and identify what are the 10 logical steps. It also needs to write it in a style that IT administrators would understand. And here it gets going. Step one, review the Microsoft 365 Copilot Early Access Program terms and conditions. That seems like a pretty logical place to start. And as you can see, it's following the instruction by having a paragraph explaining the importance, along with at least five tactical steps. Step two, purchase the Early Access Program Pass. So while I put that in the oven and it's going to continue working behind the scenes, I'm going to go back to this Word document and show you some of the cool things you can do in Word. Let's use Copilot to generate a paragraph explaining what this document is about. Here we go. It's reading the entire document to formulate a response. Not only is it quick at doing this, but it also does it very accurately. And there you go. Now you have a well-written paragraph explaining this document. When you're writing in a Word document, you tend to be writing in a more formal style of writing than, say, an email or a chat. Copilot can help you find the right words. All you have to do is start with the idea, and Copilot can reword it for you. Let's assume that this paragraph was written hastily, just like a brain dump. All you have to do is highlight the text, tap the Copilot icon, and then hit Rewrite. Now Copilot is going to get to work, and it's going to generate different ways of saying the same thing. Here's the first one. And you can click here to see the next one. Or here is the third one. This tool is a great time saver when you're scripting, writing blogs, press releases, or even a white paper. You can also interact with Copilot on the right-hand side. So as I get started, you can see it can help me write something, it can summarize this document, but I can also ask questions about this document. This FAQ document was generated by a lot of different experts, so nobody is the expert on the document, except Copilot. So I can ask any question I want about the document, and Copilot will use the information in the document to respond, even if the question itself wasn't explicitly written this way. So in this example, is my company data always secure? And does it ever leave my tenant? Copilot becomes the expert on the document, analyzing every single response to every question. And even if the response was separated out on different questions, Copilot will combine that into a very precise response. So here we go, it's just pulling it up. According to the document, yes, your company data is always safe and secure and does not leave your tenant. So there you go, it's provided a very precise response. Now let's switch back to the other document we started to create for IT administrators. So here we are, let's see, we're on step, step nine and it's almost finished. Here it's on the final step providing feedback and suggestions to Microsoft. That sounds like a fairly logical last step for IT administrators. And when we look here, six pages, just under 1900 words, and it did all that in roughly three minutes. That's mind blowing. Now suppose my manager has asked me to present this content to 120 IT administrators tomorrow. I would need to convert this to a PowerPoint presentation because no one presents in Word. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a link to this document and we're going to use this to build a presentation. So let's jump over to PowerPoint.